NBC News, America's news leader. Medicine used in Hawaii this week by two surgeons at once. Here's NBC's Dan Lothian. Dr. Cruz, could we get a close-up of her again? Just come in again in the endoscope, please. Dr. George Camera, about to assist in a delicate eye surgery, even though he is 210 miles and an island away from the patient. I will be uh, telementoring as if I were there standing over her shoulder. Two hospitals, two eye surgeons, one on Oahu, the other on the big island of Hawaii, with the patient, linked together by a high-tech telephone connection, TV monitors, and cameras. It's called telemedicine. The patient, a 16-year-old girl, had a non-cancerous tumor in the socket of her left eye. While her local doctor was qualified to remove it, it was determined a renowned specialist should also take part in what would be a complex surgical procedure. So Dr. Camera joined the team, working as the eyes for the hands of Dr. Susan Semp. I think I, think I, I see the vessel here. It's right underneath that fat lobule. Throughout the one-hour operation, Dr. Camera gave long-distance advice, guidance, and encouragement. Good job. Thank you. Officials with both hospitals believe this was the first time anywhere a surgery this complicated was successfully performed using telemedicine. Everything went as well as it possibly could. Over the same link that transmitted the surgery, Dr. Semp and the patient's father talked about the history-making operation. It was a fabulous opportunity. In a way, it's a teaching learning situation where we're both interacting equally. I had great confidence. Uh, I had no doubt. This week's surgery is seen as the first step in Hawaii's long-range plan for using telemedicine to bring the best medical care to patients no matter where they are. Dan Lothian, NBC News. That is Nightly News again on CNBC every night at 10. Len Cannon will be here with you tomorrow night. I'm Brian Williams reporting tonight from New York. Good night.